ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் சிவராமன் வெல்கம் டு பிக்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் பெயிண்டிங்ஸ் வென் வி திங்க் ஆஃப் ரைனோஸ் வாட் ஸ்ட்ரைக்ஸ் தி மோஸ்ட் இஸ் தேர் ஆர்மர் லைக் திக் ஸ்கின் அண்ட் தி பிக் ஸ்ட்ராங் ஹார்ன் விஸ் டெல்ஸ் அஸ் டோன்ட் மெஸ் வித் மீ வென் யூ ஆர் ஸ்மால் ஐ யூஸ் டு வண்டர் ஹவு கம் பேர்ட்ஸ் ஆர் சிட்டிங் ஸோ ஃபியர்லெஸ்லி ஆன் தீஸ் பிக் அனிமல்ஸ் லேட்ரான் ஐ காட் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் that they share a beautiful uh, symbiotic relationship with the birds so when i decided i wanted to paint a rhino i thought i will uh, show their uh, lighter side a scene which shows their uh, friendship these birds uh, play a key role in ensuring uh, the parasites and ticks on the bodies of rhino or uh, cleared off and uh, it also serves as the uh, food for the birds so both benefit from this and at times uh, the warning calls uh, from these birds also help the rhino stay away from uh, human presence i wasn't able to uh, find a photograph exactly matching my imagination uh, so i took a photo reference for the pose of the rhino and then um, uh for the bird uh, the environment and uh, the uh, color of uh, the rhino i uh, looked at multiple other references and then uh, added to my uh, painting and by the way what you see here is a white rhino do you know how many of these are still left in the wild watch this video till the end to find the answer I started my sketch by roughly blocking the shape of uh, the rhino on the paper. Once I was happy with the spacing around the animal and uh, where the face was coming, I started adding in the details. As of now, uh, there are around 5 uh, species of rhinos which are uh, still left in the world. 2 uh, African and 3 uh, Asian. Uh, the African uh, species have 2 uh, horns. and uh, the uh, rhino which we find in india has only one horn that is one quick and easy way to uh, differentiate between an african rhino and an uh, indian rhino i made the horns of the rhinos uh, slightly longer than the uh, reference i had uh, to ensure there was enough space for the bird to be sitting uh, their horns which is widely sought after is uh, made up of a material called keratin which is the same protein which forms our uh, nails and hair interesting right right from the start i was very clear that i am not going to be adding too much of skin details on uh, rhino i wanted to keep it uh, pretty simple but still uh, give the feeling of the uh, rough skin on its uh, body once the uh, sketch was done and uh, i was happy with the full details on the body i used masking fluid to uh, mask the grass strands using masking fluid is one easy way to ensure the paper whites are uh, preserved and you can paint over the surface uh, more freely once it was done i started painting from the eyes and uh, nose did you know rhinos the second biggest land uh, mammal predominantly uh, eats uh, grass and uh, leaves as their food uh, they spend most of their uh, night early morning and uh, evening uh, grazing and uh, when the sun is hot they uh, actually uh, rest i started my base wash with a very subtle soft tone of uh, yellow i painted it in regions where i imagined uh, the uh, uh, light would be hitting the rhino in this painting for the first time i used a flat brush and i should say this I absolutely love using uh, a flat brush and particularly for the backgrounds. Uh, so far I have only been using uh, the round brush for uh, for broad areas but then I was extremely happy with uh, the effect I was getting with the flat brush. It allows you to have a, a very even quick wash. I used uh, diluted paints uh, so that the wash is not uh, very strong for me to go back and correct. the male rhinos are solitary and uh, very territorial the female rhinos along with their calves live in uh, small social groups of uh, 14 to 
another interesting fact is that uh, their eyesight is uh, pretty poor and they uh, rely on their uh, strong sense of smell if a person stands motionless at a distance of uh, even 30 meters it would be hard for them to see now you know how to get unscathed in case you are confronted by a rhino right once the uh, very subtle uh, base wash was uh, laid down i started adding uh, more finer details to the snout and then used a couple of variants of gray tone for the shadow regions one with paints gray and then uh, the second one with a little bit more warm tone added more uh, orange brown to get the warm tone so as i started painting the uh, gray tones i could uh, see the shape started uh, coming while you don't see much uh, mud painted in this uh, image they actually uh, like to be in mud and the mud act as a protective coat keeping them cool and also helps them get rid of the parasites uh, the two african species are the black and white rhinos unlike the albino varieties of uh, white tiger and white peacock these are not uh, completely white the white and uh, black rhinos are both actually gray in color it seems uh, the name white rhino came uh, due to a misinterpretation of uh, of a african word uh, one easy way to differentiate between a white rhino and a black rhino is uh, from their lips the white rhino has a square shaped lip and uh, the uh, black rhino has a, a pointed upper lip and at this stage i was uh, pretty much happy with shape and form that i was getting and i know that once i add the details it's all going to come together and i uh, moved to painting the bird uh, the bird was uh, pretty straightforward oxpecker or uh, tick bird is the um, most commonly found uh, bird which uh, shares a symbiotic relationship with rhinos and what you see here is not a oxpecker oxpeckers uh, are mostly brown and uh, i did not find them uh, look very interesting uh, so i chose to deviate i actually wanted a bird which would uh, add a little bit more color to the scene uh, because mostly i had a painting which was uh, having very neutral colors i wanted that splash of orange and a little bit cold blue so i decided to go with uh, a different bird while it is not ideal i just wanted to uh, ensure the uh, picture is very lively and uh, brings a lot of positive mood when we look at it once the bird was done i went on to add the uh, grass details it was fun working with the grass the masking fluid had done its job it had preserved the whites i used a little bit of yellow ochre to to get the kind of uh, grass shades which i was looking for rhinos are very very intelligent and can be uh, trained in the same way as uh, the dogs in fact uh, trainers have found that uh, different whistles and uh, treats to be very effective tools uh, to train them just like our own dogs interesting right these rhinos are uh, pretty huge in fact uh, the second largest land mammal and among all species the white rhinos are the largest this is impressive right consider they only eat grass and leaves do you know which is the biggest natural predator for these animals unfortunately as human beings uh, because of their uh, huge body strong horns and uh, thick armor like skin rhinos have no natural predators in the last 10 years uh, 7000 or so rhinos has been uh, killed and amongst the white rhino subspecies there are just two white rhinos left in the wild and unfortunately both of them are uh, female rhinos they are currently in uh, kenya and are actually protected round the clock by armed guards there is no other reason for this particular extinction which is happening right in front of uh, our eyes other than poaching again if you find any of the information interesting and uh, informative please make it a point to discuss with your family and friends let's create some awareness well it might be too late to do something about these white rhinos maybe the general awareness about the wild animals would save a lot of other species which are in the brink of extinction coming back to this painting 
the final step was to add the uh, finer skin details. I intentionally kept the details soft. I wanted it to just blend with the environment. So that's it. I was done. Thank you for watching this video till the end. See you soon in the next one. Until then, bye bye.